Welcome, everyone. Packing up the lines here tonight. Uh, Roger, Charlotte, North Carolina, getting ready for the father-daughter dance tomorrow with my six-year-old daughter. Um, I'm a lousy dancer. We're going to try and make it through, but they are serving cookies. Insert joke anytime. Hey, Tesh. So <laughs> tonight, you know, as we indicated. That one was too weather, obvious. <clears throat> I'm not going to use that one. All right, all right. As indicated in the uh, email tonight, this really is uh, our favorite favorite time of the month because we get to come on and, and hear um, all the celebrations. And we've seen them all across Facebook, all in the help desk, and, and uh, just people making sales all the way up to people that can't work and uh, haven't been able to find a job and haven't made any money online ever and come from this, uh, this, this sea of badness uh, from the MLM industry. And, they're on here and they're, uh, they're, they're thriving. And um, a lot of people that had no intention of building, no intention of telling anybody, just wanted to make some extra money to pay the bills and all of a sudden they're celebrating by just sharing with their friends. And it's been pretty incredible. So we're gonna kick this off in about a minute. Um, I see all the welcomes and I was kind of reading them off. They attach people on here from Thailand, people on here from Germany, Canada, of course, US, UK. Thanks for getting up. Thanks for staying up wherever you are in the world. Just got a good morning from Augustine, Saipan, 11 a.m. Friday morning there. That's incredible. Incredible. Uh, about one minute. What do you think, Atesh? One minute. Can everybody all set up? It's actually less than a minute. It's roughly 31 seconds. Well, now less than 31 seconds. Left. Well, there we go. We got Lewis on here from Nova Scotia. I know a little bit about town. Best food on the planet. Best weather in the world. <laughs> just kidding on the weather. Um, but it's just an amazing place to live. I actually grew up there. People don't know. I grew up in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. You'll hear a little about a little bit of A's from me. And uh, with that, it is now 8 o'clock, the top of the hour. So what are we talking about here? we got a lot of stuff going on. And there, there's webinar trainings. Uh, yesterday, we did some pro training. We did some elite training. There's... There's uh, webinars to introduce to people on Tuesday. There's affiliate webinars on Friday. So what are we doing here? This is where we're going to come on and uh, we um, and we talk. Hey, Tess, you're in a bit of a windstorm there or something. We come on no, here I'm and we not. talk. Oh, okay. It's actually Kevin getting on. Oh, all right. Kevin's in a jet coming on. That's awesome. Um, okay. So it's, uh, you know, we come on here and we have, is he on yet? <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Good. Just don't right. worry about it. Just keep going. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have this uh, massive, massive platform and this massive team and these massive group of people that are kind of all celebrating a, a victory um, right now and, and making money and sharing with other people. And, and, you know, I've talked about different functionalities and lives and what money plays a role in that. And we're, we're so happy that we can um, help you guys. What this webinar is all about is to bring you guys updates let you know um, where we're at as a company, where we've come from as a company, and just kind of tell you our story a little bit, tell you what's coming out, tell you what's out right now that you might not be aware of, and how to really just take everything we have and uh, incorporate it into uh, changing your guys' life even further, even faster. And uh, looks like Kevin's on from from Japan um, right now. So with that, I'm going to throw it over to Hetesh for a little bit of intro, and then uh, we'll come back to myself and Kevin once we get them sorted. <clears throat> intro, intro. Well, I don't know how to introduce you guys. Everybody knows Roger. Everybody knows Kevin. Um, everybody kind of knows of this uh, computer software that these two built. It's It goes by the name Hitesh, and it's basically an auto programming system. And we program it with an Indian accent, so it sounds smarter. But <laughs> what, <laughs> really what's going on with DS Domination is, here's, here's basically the news of the week, right? So we are basically been breaking all sorts of records and all sorts of stuff is going on. And we have, we maxed out the entire system for GoToWebinar. So they're actually trying to find a new system for us. We're actually talking to them about it. Um, because we have way too many people on there. They, they literally do not have the capacity to have that many people on a webinar anymore. Um, we have broken the records for basically our email management system. Our lead generation is going so fast that we are, we are actually getting some of the lead management places talking about it. Uh, clearly, you can see our Alexa ranking. We are 848 in the US. Um, we actually um, are, at this point, 
big enough that the entire billing platform that we are using are trying to figure out how to accommodate us because we're growing way too fast for them to even try to keep up with us. So that's not to say that we are so awesome. Look at us. Okay. Now the, we could take this opportunity and say, yes, because, you know, Kevin is such a great drip writer and Roger is such a great uh, presenter or, you know, <laughs> any of that stuff, but that's not what we are. That's not what happened. Um, what's actually happening is the reason this is going and growing the way that it is, is because of the type of results that average people are getting, right? That's, that's the entire reason why this is growing the way that it is. It's because the first time ever the average person gets results and we can, we keep talking about this over and over, but the reason we talk about it over and over is because it's so novel. It's so different from what's been happening up until now. So we have the average person coming in, actually getting a change made in their life. Okay. Not, not just let's talk about it or let's get them emotionally riled up or let's use these cliche phrases about this is a game changer and they just need to believe enough and they just need to go all in or whatever. None of that stuff, right? They're actually going through stuff, applying stuff and they're getting awesome results. So it makes sense that we're growing the way that we are. And by the way, I just want to warn you guys, um, a ton of people are still coming on this call. And so, uh, pretty soon here, it looks like we're going to max out, go to webinar again. So if you get off the webinar and try to get back in, you might not be able to get back in and that's okay. Just know that that's what happened. It's not something wrong with us. So um, that's uh, basically the situation of where DS domination is right now and all the awesome that's going on. So because of how awesome everything is and because of how quickly everything is growing because of how great it is this is uh, roger's attempt at drawing an amoeba but uh because of how well everything is going we have had to work really 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 hard to try and speed up on some of the things that we had planned out doing over really two years and we're trying to do that right away so we'll actually have some really, really, really cool updates to talk with you guys about that. Uh, Roger's going to go over a couple of them. I'm going to go over a couple of them and hopefully it'll, it'll get you guys really excited. And I think we are pretty much the only company that when we do a webinar, pretty much every webinar, we have something really cool to share with you guys. Um, as opposed to a standard MLM webinar, which is, Hey guys, we are doing this webinar to tell you about when we'll hold the webinar, where we'll tell you about the updates. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to actually have real updates for you guys here in a few seconds. And um, that is why Roger never became part of gangs because he, you can clearly see his graffiti is horrible. So, hey, hey, I'm tagging. Okay. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pass this over to uh, Roger or if Kevin is, is on here, Kevin, and you guys can go ahead and talk about some of the updates coming out. Actually, uh, Roger, why don't we begin with the awesome elite fanciness that's coming out? Okay, cool. Let me, uh, I just want to go kind of in sequence. We'll give Kevin uh, a chance here, see where, uh, see where he's at, see if he's too loud. Bring Kevin up for a second real quick. Hey, Kevin, do you have a quiet spot yet? Kevo, you might be on mute, brother. You might be in a no, jet. He's unmuted. Okay. Let me let me sort him out, okay? This this call. Okay, you sort him. You sort him. Okay. Yeah. Awesome guys. So there were there was so much. I mean, we were sitting there and uh, conceiving DS domination and what we should do and, and and going through the methods of it. And we were all gung ho to just here's everything and boom 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 boom. And Hitesh is really the uh, the controller of the group. Going, no, it's it's logical to roll this out and and, and not um, get them confused here and. And no, let's not roll out a bunch of marketing training where they could lose money. Let's protect them. Let's protect them. Let's protect them. Let's get the cash offers in there. Let's try and make it free for them. Protect, protect, protect. So he was really logical in that facet. We have, you know, content to put out from now until I don't even know, it's six months, a year out in our minds that we, we have in place or have the connectivity or have the sources. And we're rolling out in a really logical rhythm. So we got the, the core of it up there. And uh, we, we contacted some people that are influencers in the industry and said, you know, what do you think? And uh, we made some tweaks, some adjustments, and, and then rolled out DS Domination. And the night it rolled out, we were about, I don't know, three, four hours late rolling it out. And people were refreshing the, cat, refreshing the countdown clock and, and all gung-ho. And, and then we, we launched. And, and folks started coming in and asking questions. And it was just 
it was overwhelming. We, we switched to servers in, in practically the middle of the night because um, uh, we had so much traffic. And normally a server uh, switch takes days and there's all kinds of disruptions and Matesh waved, waved his crystal wand or ball or whatever and it was just poof, it was it's done. It's not crystal, it's sapphire. Sapphire ball with spices. And um, he did that and uh, we moved that over. So we had the core all in place and then it was just up to the audience, you folks, and, and, and believing in us. And you started to believe and people started to make money and little, little microscopic bumps along the road, we fixed those, we enhanced the training and the support and everything else and um, just growing so incredibly, incredibly fast. So started holding some things back and now um, I had a project where um, there's a company out there that is uh, will make everybody's life mm, 10 to 20 percent easier in the form of money. Basically, if you, you're going to make 100, you make 110, uh, and and you get things cheaper and stuff like that. And that company, we probably six weeks ago, we were um, we we started to talk with them, and we decided to run some beta testers. We when it's when it's out of our hands and we don't know the company we beta test. So the beta testers went out and they did tens of thousands of dollars in purchases and got eligible for thousands of dollars in cashback rewards and actually announced, hey, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to put this in elite training. It's going to be incredible. And I showed some people on a webinar what this was all about and they were all crazy and I was going to tell them how to get even more money back and things like that. And, um, and then one of the beta testers reported that they were not paid. And um, the company didn't know who the beta testers were. They didn't even know we had people in there testing it. So one of them didn't get paid. He, had, he, he was eligible for a couple thousand dollars in, in cashback commissions. And um, we went to the owner. We went to the CEO of the company. And we love this guy, not, not to just get him paid, but to see if we could work together. And um, we launched with them. We talked with them, deep discussions with them, with their owners, with their CEO, multi, multi-million dollar company. And they agreed that we could um, allow our team to um, use their resources to get incredible cash back um, from different sites that are in the elite modules. Now, I know that everybody on here is from different scopes. And remember, DS domination doesn't end tonight, next week. You don't have to be an elite monopoly, unleashed everything. I got to go right now. Time's running out. All in. Go, 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 go. You don't have to do that. If you're in pro, that's cool. You'll you'll get there. I mean, you're going to make money. You're going to get there. It's no big deal. But in the elite training, um, I just cut all the videos, sent them over to Head Tash. He, he proof, proofread them, told me I was a moron, then I read them. And uh, they're pretty amazing. And what you're going to find in there in the elite training, if it's not in there now, it'll be in there later on tonight, absolutely for sure, because everything's done. You're going to be able, some people know the company I'm speaking about because I've spoken to them privately. You can now use that company and you'll, the average person will make four to $10,000 more a month. The, I'm saying the average person, remember I don't exaggerate, the average person, I'm sorry, a year, four to 10000 extra dollars a year using this and it's in the elite trading and Tesh will let me know if he's got it uploaded right now or if it's uh, going to be in there tonight. Back to you. It's going to be in there tonight. Awesome. Okay, it's definitely awesome. going to be in there tonight. It's actually, um, I'm converting it and rendering it right now while we're on the webinar. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So we're pretty excited about this and it, it branches out the way it works. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll dive into it just a little bit. If you're not an elite, but if elite, elite has several sites that you can use and this company is going to enable you to get more cash back than any company on the planet's offering, especially with something I introduced into the program. So not only that, but now it's going to come out with this functionality, uh, or it's out, I mean, not going to come out. You're going to be able to have this functionality where when you're surfing the internet, okay, it's going to pop up and tell you different places that are giving what percentage cash back. So if you typed in uh, um, cat food, all right, and you're scrolling through the internet, it's going to say, PetSmart, 12.8% cash back. And... You know, I don't have training on every site on the internet because it's an extensive process. I have to talk to the owner, I have to talk to the CEO, I have to make sure there's nothing in the hopper, I have to go through all this. But with all of these huge cash back rewards, now in the elite training, I will be able to go out and say, you know what, with this 12.8% cash back, we can now be competitive in the eBay market, in the Google market, in the Amazon market, because matter of fact, we just got rid of all the eBay fees. The eBay fees come to 13 to 15%. Well, if the company's giving 12.8% back, now we don't have eBay fees and we can rule the world. 
okay? And that's what it's all about, dominating. And that's what we're putting into Elite tonight. And when we say tonight, that doesn't mean next week or something. Video's all done. Training's all in there. Good to go. Um, it will be in there ASAP, okay? Back to you, Hitesh. Um, well, thank you. Well, <clears throat> to continue the, the drift here, though, um, hopefully you guys are beginning to see that our aim or our intention with the US domination is not to, um, um, it's, it's not, okay, just, just calm down. Okay, the, the intention of US domination is not to try and get a, a recruitment scheme or anything of that sort, you know, because that's unfortunately what all of you have experienced in the past. All of you have seen that kind of stuff in the past. Um, our aim is to actually create a second economy. Okay, and not a second economy, it's really just the same economy, it's an e-commerce thing, but we're trying to create a whole separate, massive thing going on through DS domination. So what we are doing right now is, and we have, we have alluded to this in the past, but it's a lot closer than a lot of you think. In fact, one of the things I was working on last night was the thing I'm about to talk, uh, that, I'm, that I'm talking about now. So we have this one net, this massive company, multi-million company that we just spoke with because of the size of DS domination, the growth of DS domination. Um, it was funny because when Roger went to talk with them, they had been talking with somebody who was already using DS domination. So it was, it was pretty interesting how that worked out. But um, we're able to now leverage a lot of these things with, alongside with these major companies and major you know, manufacturers and stuff to get things for our members that usually nobody can get individually. Okay, so we were able to do this with the cashback company, but we are also able to do this with a few other places. One of them being the exclusive manufacturing and shipping abilities that would be given only to DS domination members. Okay, so if you're a DS domination member, we're going to actually be introducing in the next um, 30 to 45 days at the latest, we're going to actually be introducing um, a section within DS Domination's website. When you log in, it'll actually give you the ability to begin a, a very unique, exclusive access to products which only you will have access to at a very, very high profit margin at the lowest prices possible. And you guys will be able to define the market around those products. Since nobody else out there can actually sell those products at those same prices because we're actually getting them directly from the manufacturer now, um, It'll, it'll basically just, just imagine that happening on the manufacturing side. And alongside that, you now have the ability to get cashbacks and everything else. And we are, we are talking about beginning with 100,000 products. Okay, so 100,000 different products with massive inventory on each of them. And that's like the beginning. And we, we've got to scale that up really, really fast. So um, there's really not going to be any issues with... Uh, or is it going to get saturated or something like that? Because remember, you can now go out there and you will have access to even more sites than what we just teach you about already. We're actually going to now be able to access many, many more sites through this cashback thing and so on and so forth. Okay. So this whole idea we had is that we're going to start creating this whole economy of our own. And, and you know, we're going to get to a point where people can come into DS domination and our intention isn't as much that we're going to make a bunch of money. You know, it's, it's more like us making money from this is a side effect at this point. What we want to really do is create something where the average person comes in, understands the basics of business and basics of e-commerce and starts plugging into the whole idea. And now they can actually access these products. They can actually access the marketplaces. And one of my aims is to actually then, the final step, to create our own marketplace. You know, imagine us creating a, an eBay of our own. Uh, DBay maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so that's, that's really one of the places that we are headed with this. To basically give our members the ability to have access to all of these things, to leverage these different companies, but also to create their own true, truly their own business without being dependent on any other company out there or dealing with somebody's limits or, or so on and so forth. And just one final quick point. Um, all of these products that you guys will be getting access to in the product feed and supply section that we are working on right now, uh, you'll be able to purchase them directly with PayPal. So you guys will not have to worry about um, you know, transferring money from PayPal. If you sell something on eBay, you'll be able to drop ship it using your money that came into PayPal and all that good stuff as well. So uh, our major challenge right now is trying to figure out how we're going to actually present this whole thing in, one, in, in, in a single webinar of ours because we already struggled to put everything that we have in here in one. So 
that's those are just some of the things that we are coming up with. Those are the things that are, that are going on right now. In addition to all the software updates and the background updates, a lot of the background updates that many of you might not be aware of. But for example, our site is now four times faster than it was two and a half weeks ago. Um, and you know, people don't notice that stuff, but it makes a big difference for the end user in in the grand scheme of things. So, I guess that's uh, that's some of the stuff that's going on. Now, here's one thing that's going on that I've been really honestly uh, excited about, which has been the the lack of naysayers. Um, and you know, you know, every company has, you know, somebody's going to say, "Oh, I don't know about this model. I don't like that model," or something like that. And that's that's fine. I don't mind when people have logical reasons for why they oppose something. But um, we have had very very few of those, if any. Um, and that goes hand in hand with the fact that we actually have like a 90% retention rate. So when we have 90% retention rate, that means most of our people are really, really happy. And when we know that our people are really happy, it also is showing on the outside where there are people who are not members of DS Domination, but even they are saying, you know, this is actually a pretty good thing for what you have going on. Um, it's it's just been it's just been very wonderful to see that. So that's yeah. Roger's attempt at making a no hater sign, I think. What, what's awesome with the haters, guys, is um, it, I, it's funny we say the word haters. That's funny to me. But with some of the big leaders that we've spoken to out there that we've talked to, they've had family members um, come up to them and say, hey, I need to make money like right now. I need to get some money in my pocket. And instead of putting them in the program that they're currently in, they say, well, go join this DS domination thing <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. And uh, sure enough, they're finding out that that hours, days later, these guys are coming back to them and saying, yeah, this thing's really working and it's amazing uh, what's happening here. So we're starting to get a lot of people that, um, that aren't even really, aren't even in here and they're having people come in and test it to see, hey, does this thing really work? Because they can't, it's kind of hard to believe what we've got as far as an income opportunity for the average person. I want to kind of take this back, Hitesh, and bring it back to what you were saying about creating our own economy, because everyone on this call, uh, you know that a giant company isn't always cooperative with other companies or with the end user. They want to protect themselves, and sometimes they do that in very strange ways. So a lot of this, us going out there and being able to have our own suppliers and, and, and all of that come back to being able to protect our users and giving them a place where they don't have to do as much work. I know DS domination. There's not a lot of work involved when you're listing on eBay. A lot of times, you guys that are getting this down, you're 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 doing this in a, in minutes to an hour or two hours a day, and you're making a lot of money. But we we want that to be even easier for you. We want you to come in here and be able to immediately grab a product, buy it with PayPal, list it, and if someone's not in DS domination, they don't even have access to it. That way, we can have give our members more control over their financial future. So uh, all this kind of summed up, it's, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty amazing what, what we're doing here. And like Hitesh said, a lot of these plans were scheduled for a year, two years out, and we have more plans on top of that. So if we were to, if we were to act on everything we've got planned for you guys, it would take forever. So we're speeding up that process, which is going to mean more money for you faster in the, in the long run and the short term. So I hope you guys get that. So pretty awesome stuff. And and I want you guys to please remember, we have been live today for exactly two and a half months. Wow. And you, <laughs> it really doesn't feel like it. It actually feels like we've been around for years because that's really the type of growth we've had and the amount of stuff that we have done recently. It's just been crazy because of how many things we've been able to accomplish in a fairly short period of time. But um, can I address one very important thing? Okay. Uh, when we put this, uh, when Roger made this haters and a, and a sign through it, um, it's not supposed to be no haters allowed. It means there are no haters, really, is, is kind of what he's getting at. Um, and, and here's what I want to say very clearly. I know that there's been this tendency, um, especially recently, but this has always been the case, to create this kind of a cult within a company, right? Where it turns into an us versus them mentality or, oh, these people hate us or we are going to get them back. Or, this is nothing like that, okay? We don't want you to think about other people like that. We don't think about other people like that. Um, it's, I just want to clarify that they, all these other people who we are referring to, all of these people are also human beings. They also struggle with the same things. They also struggle with their financial stresses or family stresses or health issues and so on. 
and as long as they're if they have a logical reason for why they don't like something talk to them about the logical reason now if, if they are being illogical about it, they're just trying to promote themselves or something ridiculous then just move on from that but i don't want any at any point i don't want to ever create that cult like culture in our company we are normal people and you are normal people and our whole point is that we are service providers and we are giving you software tools and training and we want you guys to just take action on that and you'll be happy and you don't have to worry about going out and trying to deal with, with haters so to speak so i just want to put that disclaimer out there this is not uh let's deal with those people or something like that we don't we don't ever want to get into that mentality um, even though Roger right now is trying to start his own cult and I'm seeding, yes. <laughs> it's like Creed. He, may, he makes a lot more money being a cult leader. <laughs> All right, so continue. Okay, awesome. So that's the that's the end of the haters thing. So when we set we set out to um, on the screen. All right. Uh, <laughs> we started out to, to, to run a very simplistic model and you know as you know if you've submitted a help desk ticket you yeah, pretty high percent chance that I've responded to it um, not that none are not responded to I'm saying I spent a lot of time in the help desk and you know there's probably a uh, hundred questions a day 150 questions a day from from all kinds of different areas and people wanting to do things different and, and throw the curveball and stuff like that. But I just want you guys to remember how it works because some of you guys have made a lot of money and have big teams and stuff like that. And how it works is you just um, start out and, and you make uh, some money in pro and then you upgrade to elite and make some more money all the way uh, all the way up the ladder. Now, this time of year, if you're an elite, you've seen the Christmas webinar, you know the techniques. I would name some items and probably – uh, 500 people come out here and have sold multiple items from the uh, elite webinar alone and that's really exciting stuff but um, and, and the rollouts we're gonna be putting out and just what we put in the elite training tonight is pretty incredible and I just got some announcements that are pretty incredible and just incredible 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 and, and I said this on an earlier um, webinar on training webinar and it kind of rang true to uh, a lot of people um, some people just kind of glossed over it and, and that's fine you know, there's different personalities out there, and there's going to be personalities that are like, why are you guys talking about? Give us some content. We don't want to hear about life. We want to make money, 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 money. And there's going to be some that just in sync with us, and that's fine. When we have 10,000-plus people, we're going to have some, some people that aren't in line with us, and that's cool. But what I want to caution you guys against, again, is, is I did this for a long, long time. And it's so attractive, and it's so fun, and there's so much money you made. It's real easy to um, get buried into your computer night and day, and the money's incredible, so a lot of you guys are already doing that. And I did say in a webinar, on the Elite webinar, I want to reiterate it here, you should really stop listing um, around the 15th of uh, December. And I had some people come back to me and say, do I have to stop on the 15th of December? And there's a couple reasons for that. One... Um, you don't want to not be able to source Little Lucy's bicycle um, December 15th to the 25th. First, that's, that's hurtful to the customer, and second, that's hurtful to your feedback. And, you know, in, in normal times, it's okay if Lucy doesn't get her bicycle in February 9th or whatever, but this is kind of a special time of year. Also, when you stop listing, it does not end there. When you when you shut down your site or if you have an eBay store, you put it on vacation or you delist your items, it does not end there. Um, you're going to have questions the next day, 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 the next day. I remember my mother came down here to visit me and she was doing um, eBay and we actually went down to Florida and her whole vacation was wrecked because she had this question on her account that she couldn't get a hold of the lady and answer. It was like December 24, 25th, 26, 27th, this thing went on. So I'm going to caution you against that. I want to give you guys um, now before I forget a few different um, techniques. One, if you have an eBay store, there's a vacation setting that you can use um, to put it on vacation settings. Um, two, um, if you want to delist all your items, delist all your items, but you're going to be paying insertion fees. Three, you may have seen it out there. You can jack your prices up to some ridiculous amount um, so your buyers don't, uh, don't buy it, you know, uh, 
a box of car catalogs cornflakes put it up to a hundred dollars or something then your buyers won't buy it and then you can bring it back down if you want to don't want to delist them so i just want to give you guys a little holiday uh, advice as we start getting in and getting geared up i didn't want somebody to miss it because they weren't on a webinar and stuff like that this is just some direction going into the most ferociously busy time of year in ebay ds domination amazon google everywhere and it's getting ready to be on, 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 on back to you guys. Really quick, can I add to that? Because I actually did some research on it. Now, most of you guys think that I'm illiterate when it comes to eBay and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not that illiterate. I'm just, uh, I wouldn't say lazy, but it's my, my focus is on other things because I'm busy working on DS domination and building it and stuff like that. So I actually focus more on those type of things. But um, what I have found is that it's actually significantly better for you to do the price raise because in the future, when you reduce the prices, that will actually boost your rankings in eBay because you just drop the price on your product. And what I would suggest doing is actually doing it in three or four phases. Don't drop it in one go to the lowest price you can. Drop it down to maybe the lowest price plus $8 and then drop it two more times on subsequent days and you will actually find that your things go up, that your, your rankings will go up quite a bit. So I just wanted to add that in there. Oh. I should start doing the webinars now. I'm out of here. Awesome. Good, Good night, everyone. Send me my check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get right. back on track. Let's get back on track. Company buy webinar. Um, you know, what we're trying to do here, guys, is we, do, we know there's affiliates on here. And they want to talk about leads and want to talk about upgrades and want to talk about this and growing a team and MLM and network marketing. And, and we know that there's folks on here that want to know the best way to sell a soup ladle. Okay. So we're trying to accommodate everybody with that. And, um, Tesh, what other upgrades and updates do we have coming up? Um, well, first of all, uh, tomorrow night, the leaderboard will be released. And the leaderboard will be released alongside a really awesome thing. It's going to be released alongside a list of extra bonuses, cash and prizes that affiliates will get for hitting basic targets. Okay. Now I, I think it's very important for us to do things a little differently. I know every company has their top 10 people competing against each other. Guess what? Like usual that, that really rewards the people who can do the big recruiting, uh, who really don't need the rewards quite as much, to be honest. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have that contest where we're going to have the top 10 and, and so on and so forth, but we're also going to have specific contests just for hitting specific sales levels. So it doesn't matter if you are in the top 10 or not, if you got 10 sales, for example, then you'll actually qualify for an additional cash bonus or for a special award, like a DS domination branded, some MP3 player or something like that. So we, we have all these different options that we'll be putting out there. Of course, we'll have some really nice awards in there as well, which I, I don't want to give away yet because I, I actually want you guys to have some kind of a surprise to look forward to. So that's actually going to be coming out tomorrow. So for those of you who are affiliates, which I know many of you are, and those of you who are um, actively promoting it or even just promoting it on the side and are just building you know, huge teams without even putting effort into it, um, there's something really cool coming in that. And uh, we're going to have different types of contests in it. So it's not going to be just restricted to, let's see who can do the most sales. It's actually going to be in many different ways. So it's also going to be, for example, about who actually nurtures their team the most. Um, if you are actually helping your team and you're seeing very high number of people using pro succeeding and going to, um, going from pro to elite and going from elite to monopoly and so on and so forth, that will all actually be accounted for in there as well. So you'll get separate prizes for those kind of things as well. So we're just going to try and award you all every way that we can uh, because we are a little bit crazy. We apparently don't like money and we like to just give it back to our users. So that's what's going to be happening there. Um, you will all be able to see the link for it. Um, it's, going to, it's going to begin tomorrow. So you're going to see the link for it tomorrow at about midnight in under the affiliate um, menu. So when you go to the affiliate tab, you're going to see a page named inventory. Uh, oh, sorry, leaderboard. I just read somebody's comment saying inventory. I'm sorry. I meant leaderboard. You'll see a, a page named leaderboard and you'll be able to use that. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we have our very advanced inventory and price management system uh, that works with Amazon that has been undergoing stress testing right now because we have a pretty awesome stress testing environment that we run everything through first because as some of you might know, we are closing in on 15,000 members in DS Domination. People I didn't have 15, know. Accounts created. <laughs> yeah. So 
we actually have to put everything through a stress test to make sure that it'll actually be able to support that many users in one go. So that's that's what's going on right now. And once it's completely clean and clear and we know it's going to work for everyone, we'll make it available. So I'm not going to give a date on that because it depends entirely on how the testing goes. So um, there's that. Okay, back to me. So there's a bunch of money for some affiliates and things like that, and leaderboards and stuff like that. I know there's some folks on here that just want to do pure eBay, and that's awesome too, and you guys should get some prizes. Here we go. So uh, I was on uh, several webinars where Hitesh likes to keep things secret, so I just kept this a secret from him. <laughs> it's not really a secret. I know exactly what you're going to say. You have no clue what I'm going to say. I can say it if you want me to. You say it. Go ahead. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're actually going to have a contest. Um, if you guys do a bunch of sales oh, and you actually goodness. report those sales and are going to log those sales in mm -hmm. the DS domination section that we're going to build, uh, you'll actually get rewards for that stuff as well. So that was actually, I think, my idea that I told you about a month ago. That was your idea. However, I have another idea. Okay. Well, um, let's hear it. Let's hear Inspired it. Inspired by the donuts. I'm going to need a drum roll. <laughs> okay. Do you want a Michael Scott drum roll? Um, yes, I'd like a, a <laughs> <somebody> <laughs> <drum>. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to do this straight. But yeah, okay, no, here it is. Okay, go ahead. My fellow eBayers, I miss eBay, by the way. I keep seeing items and I'm like, ah, oh, I should put that up and crush it. Okay, so here it is. On eBay right now is a bunch of cash that uh, I've hidden on eBay, and um, it's under a certain listing, okay? And every time you guys are now on a webinar going forth, um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to give you a hint where that cash is. So you'll be able to go over to eBay and I might say, uh, you know, you wear this on your head in the winter time. And you might think winter hat and you start searching through the winter hats and things like that. And every subsequent webinar that I'm on, I'm going to give out hints and send out emails where that cash is. And it's you an guys eBay scavenger hunt. It's an eBay scavenger hunt. And you guys Very will nice. to go find cash just for fun, just for hanging out on eBay. And guess what? While you're searching for that cash, your mind's going to be exploding with items to list as you're going through and going, didn't find the cash yet, but look at that item. I want to check that out. I want to search it. And you're going to be on eBay, and somebody's going to find a bunch of cash. And you know what? I'm going to put some more cash on there. So right now, hidden on eBay is a bunch of cash all over the place, listed under different titles, different usernames, different things like that. You'll know it when you find it. Don't go searching now. The clues start tomorrow, my fellow eBay domination nation. Thank you. Okay. Now, I will. I, I want to just clarify something. Now, obviously, it's a test Roger. Well. Okay. Roger got to feel really great about himself, which was the aim. But now I have to actually tell you as a truth. Um, this actually, the idea of the eBay scavenger hunt was mine, and I inspired him in a very unique way. Incorrect. Um, the way we did that is uh, I actually had his wife hide his donuts and leave clues, <laughs> and that is how he was inspired was to come joke. up with this idea. <laughs> so, okay. Go ahead. All right. So Kevin, uh, Kevin wanted I'll, to say something. Let's let's yeah, let Kevin check the say chat box. Shouldn't hide workers. Roger's donuts. I tried that once. It did not end up well. It did so, not go well. Yeah. Did not go well. You remember that tsunami over in Japan? There you go. Yeah, I'm telling Don't you, electricity tsunami. was out for days. <laughs> okay, I'm scrolling down to the bottom of the chat box because there's a lot of it, and I want to hear some woohoos for Operation Scavenger Hunt. Homer Simpson. You, know, you can't actually hear them. You, I think you, you meant you want to see some. Movies. No, I can hear them. I can hear them. Yes, they are so loud. But yes, there they are. Isn't that going to be fun? Just free money from Hitesh. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to introduce something uh, right now. And I'm going to need absolute silence through this, please, gentlemen. Um, okay. we, you know, I'm not going to get all philosophical. And, and, but I'm going to tell you, I was kind of just walking around my house, kind of, ex, kind of experiencing life, preparing for this call. And, you know, life is not when, when you're doing well and, and you know, you're, you're pretty good financially. Um, it's, it's not all fireworks and things like that, right? It's, it's cold outside North Carolina right now. It's November in North Carolina. It's dark where I live. I, there's food in my fridge. It's just kind of like all the same facets, you know, um, that it, we're not special or anything, and we don't come from special backgrounds. Um, myself, I remember, you know, you always have these distinct memories in your mind as you go through life. And one that, was, that sticks out for me is when I wasn't 
doing so well, but I was just a kid. This isn't a story about growing up in a garbage can again or anything like that, but we just had some bad times up in Nova Scotia, Canada, and uh, my, my dad was driving a taxi cab, and I remember he was also cooking in a restaurant, and I remember one night he brought home uh, Curly O'Neill from the Globe Chotters leftover steak to give to the dog, and and he built up enough money to buy a second taxi cab, and this guy named Wayne was driving the taxi cab and stole it. At the same time, my mother was a secretary in oil refinery and lost that job. And I remember the phones just ringing. I had no clue. I was just like, give me a stick and a ball, and I'll go play street hockey. I didn't care, but the phones were ringing, and the bill collectors were calling. I remember the neighborhood bully up the road um, came over, and he was going to play with me. And he was like the cool guy. I don't know we're going to play guns or something or whatever. And he asked me if he could have a sandwich. And I went in the house, and there was such little peanut butter in the jar, I had to scrape the thing for like 20 minutes. There was like all plastic and peanut butter sandwich. So not, that's not a lesson of I know what it's like to be poor, okay? But it's a lesson that some of you guys may have gone through, are going through things like that, struggling, special in this economy. And I'm telling you, the only answer for me is what you were doing now. The answer wasn't when I was 15 years old working at McDonald's. The answer wasn't when I was slinging pizzas. The answer, and don't take any offense for me personally, was not a plethora of college degrees. None of that was the answer. But for me personally, and for a heck of a lot of people in here, the answer was, is DS Domination and eBay. So I want to tell that story in order to set up Another story that I don't know how you're going to take this. Be careful on your reaction on this story because uh, I can't even set it up properly. I want Hitesh to come up and tell his story. And, um, no, no, and I don't want Kevin me. listening. <laughs> Let's mute Kevin. I mute out for this. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't need this. This seems kind of off topic at first, but it's not. Okay. Go ahead. Um, let me first provide the context for this because. Uh, so as you guys know that I don't really have a lot of, um, we, we don't really talk, do a lot of, here's my personal story, right? Like I used to live in a van kind of stories because I, I don't believe that that is the right way to approach things. Um, and let me ask, you know, give like a very simple logical thing. Who over here, if, if you had cancer or had some condition would say, I only want a doctor to treat me if he already has cancer. Do the same way, you should never say, because I am poor, I only want somebody who has been poor to, to give me the advice about it. So I just find that a logical fallacy. That's why I don't really approach that very much. But um, every now and then, I kind of realize that uh, when I'm talking with Roger and Kevin, I begin to realize that if we, um, if I actually look at my life, for example, that there are, there are some pretty unique things about it. And uh, I, I made a statement recently. I said, um, yeah, all these people who might be saying something bad about DSC, it's like the it's like the little monkeys throwing stones at the langur, and, and they didn't understand anything of what I said. So here's the background to what I meant with that. Um, when I was growing up, and I used to go to school, I actually did walk to school in about 120 degree heat, about five and a half miles or so, and I would go, I would walk there and back. And I, and I lived close to a couple of slums, and uh, I did not live in a slum, but I lived close to a couple of them, and. Uh, in my opinion, lived, lived really well because I was looking at it in relative to everything around me. Um, I thought I was doing quite well. Um, you know, my family did well compared to everything else. Now, <clears throat> I would go to school and I, we, we had a problem with monkeys at the school. So the monkeys would come in and they would steal stuff from us and uh, they would steal school lunch boxes and stuff and they would basically try to break them open and get stuff out of that. So our school hired a, a a monkey tamer who just brought a bigger monkey to scare away the smaller monkeys. So that, I don't know why that story was apparently really, really hilarious to these two guys because they thought that I was making it all up. But what, what it made me realize is that a lot of us make a very relativistic opinion on, on things. You know, like we look around us, we say, you know, this is too hard or, or, you know, this is too easy or whatever. And I would have given anything growing up to have something like DS domination. Obviously, you know, technology has changed. I don't regret it or anything, but I never felt like I grew up really poor or grew up bad or anything like that. I still don't feel that way at all. And I feel like there's a lot of people who write in and they keep, they, they write in stuff. And I see this in support desk or, you know, occasionally on, on Facebook and stuff where people will write something like saying, yeah, you know, there's so many challenges because this is what's going on in my life. And I really can't do this right now. 
and that's a really really sad thing for me to see because quite honestly if you just would relatively see looking at other people's lives around you there is no reason that you can't do something like copy paste some content from amazon over to ebay or from other places and so on so it's just to me that just seems like a pretty straightforward lesson i don't know why it was so hilarious to kevin that he was he was literally tearing up laughing at me about it but that's the story i don't think anybody's going to find that funny i think actually most people will say yeah that's actually not funny at all and it's it's perfectly fine okay one person said funny <laughs> There you go. See, I, I said, I told you that most, I said that most of the people will not find this funny, that they would actually realize it's actually pretty true. You better but check just the chat, to, my friend. No, just, just to prove it, actually, look, here's a picture. That's not me, by the way. But this is actually the type of swarms of monkeys that we would get um, at our school. So you can actually see, see the picture right there. That's actually what, what it was like. Wow. Um, That's crazy. And, yeah. So this is what would happen. And then this is the type of monkey that they hired to scare away those monkeys. So now you know that's how I grew up. <laughs> <And> I, <laughs> okay, yeah, come on, that's funny. A little bit. It's not scared. funny. It's just I don't even know why you think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all. I mean, it, it was it's funny in retrospect to me, but it's not okay, funny. I'll go back to the monkey. There are life lessons here. You should have been talking about the life lessons, not if their story is going to be funny. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. There is. Sorry. Some... It's not funny. <laughs> Life lessons. <laughs> Look at the little baby on the hood. Look at the little it's baby so on the hood. Okay, fine. They're not cute. They're really, I told you before, they're really evil. It, until you see one with their teeth, like basically trying to get at you, you don't actually think, you don't, you don't think of them as cute anymore. All right. We apologize. That is not funny, Kevin. Not All right. Funny. Sorry. Kevin, why don't you tell them how you grew up rich and everything was perfect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, the point was that none of that should really affect anything. You guys really just need to look at what's in front of you and apply what's in front of you. Because if we start getting into stories about, oh, his life was so bad and if he can do it, so can I. I mean, that's not a good motivation. You know what a good motivation is? My wife needs to be able to stay at home or my wife yeah. needs some health stuff done or my kids need to have their daddy around them more, or I need to be around my, I mean, that's what your motivation should be. Not, yeah, I can do it because X, Y, Z did it and he grew up around monkeys. You know, that's, that's not a good motivation. That's, I don't know what that is. That's like a um, fake pick me up self-help talk, which only lasts about 10 seconds because after that you're back to reality. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you know, we, uh, Tesh and I and Kevin, we talk pretty late at night, and uh, when, we, when we're when we not going crazy doing things for DS nomination, we have a couple minutes to ourselves. Um, none of us are talking about Ferraris and, and airplanes and stuff like that. I'm talking about uh, cultural for my children and, and traveling around. And, you know, my cultural was the backseat of a car with no iPod, no iPad, a stick, 100 degrees, bombing down the, the coast to visit relatives in upstate New York. Well, I, you know, you always want better for your children. So I want Riley to be incredibly cultured and, um, and Kai as well. So those are our dreams and aspirations. We, we don't have a Ferrari we're going to show you anytime soon or any of that stuff. Um, uh, Tesh and I had to talk about minivans the other night. So. Yes. Uh, we're doing great, and uh, we want you guys to all do great. A lot of you guys are. But we're not Ferrari type guys. We're just uh, we're, we're just trying to change lives. That's it. <clears throat> okay, so off the stories, let's talk about some very practical, specific stuff. Sure. Okay, so practical, specific stuff. If you guys, um, I, I guarantee this, there are going to be a very small percentage of people, yes, but there are going to be a small percentage of people who say, you know, I'm trying, but I'm not seeing a significant amount of success yet. Okay, so what do I do for that? Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you do not want to try and do stuff in Unleashed and things like that until you've actually done something with Pro and you've seen a couple sales coming from that. That's just from my experience, that's the first thing you do. The easiest thing to do is to follow the Pro stuff, okay? You absolutely need to do that first because that's going to set the, the baseline ground level understanding on how dropshipping works. And it's not just about the understanding of um, 
how dropshipping works. It's actually also that's going to set up your eBay account for you. It's going to start generating some history for you guys and, and all that good stuff like that. Okay. So that all is important for you. Okay. So start at pro continue from there. Second, go back and watch the videos again once. If you have been trying this for a week, sales, if you've been trying this for a week and you don't have any sales, then go back and watch the videos once more because I guarantee you must have, you, you probably missed something. If you've gone through this two weeks and you don't have any sales yet, you absolutely need to go and look at your titles because you will 99.9% .9 of the time, there's something wrong with your titles and you need to revise your titles. If you cannot figure out what's wrong with your titles, open a support ticket and write us and say, here is my situation. Here is what's going on with me. Can you please help me? Um, and only do that if over those three three weeks you've actually gotten on the training webinars. Remember, every Wednesday night we have live webinars for training, and we will be able to help you with that kind of stuff. Roger is a genius at this stuff, and what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to tell you, yeah, it looks like in this case you need to work on your titling, and it's in some rare cases you might have to work on your pricing. In some other rare cases, you might have to work on a couple of the things in the description. It's very very rare that you have to change all those things. Most of the time, it's just titling. But um, you guys need to go ahead and follow that process, start with pro, make a few listings, and then go from there. Now, some others, um, and this is just you know, self-evident. There are people who have written in saying, I've been doing this, you know, I've made like $80, but how do I scale up? Well, here's how you scale up. You get your limits raised and you make more listings. It's very simple, okay? There's, there's no secret to making a lot more. That's what you do. Third, for some of you who do not have eBay accounts or you have had banned, you've been banned from eBay or you're trying to do this without eBay or whatever the reason is, um, if you're using the elite source, the way that we teach you in elite, there are no insertion fees, there are not, there's nothing like that. However, the traffic and the reach on that is lower than eBay, right? Obviously, it's lower than eBay. So you need to expect that you will have to do more listings than eBay for you to make a lot of significant profit with that, okay? so. You will make it, you'll be making a lot more money with that. The, basically, if I break, the, break down the whole process in, there are really only three things you guys need to do right. The first is you need to research the products properly. Okay, make sure that you're researching the right products to sell, that you're calculating your pricing in there properly. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you want to make sure that you're titling your stuff properly because that's where the sales will come in from. So make sure that you're titling it right. And the third, and this is pretty much the most important thing, Make sure you do a lot of it, okay? Don't stop. Don't just put up two listings and say, I'm gonna sit back and watch for a week what happens. If eBay gives you, you know, 10, 10 listings to work with, go out and put eight of them. Observe what's selling, what works for you. If you get one or two sales in a particular product, find related products and put those up, okay? So those are just some of the things that I would do. Um, and every step of the way remember weekly you can get on the webinar and and watch how roger does it live ask him questions about your stuff and we'll go from there okay um i know this is working for a lot more people than it's not working for right there's a lot more people who are making money with this uh we know that as a fact we see those numbers all the time so it's a very few number of people who is this not working for and there are only two cases i i just explained it's either titling and sometimes, honestly, it could just be really, really bad luck. It could just be that you're going through a week and a half where you did not get sales and there are different reasons for that, but it, it could occasionally, in very rare cases, that it could just be a case of just, you know, stuff didn't sell. But overall, take your time um, to study everything before you jump into it. Okay, I'm not one of the people who's like, take action, take action, take action. Well, what does take action mean? You know, it's like saying, oh, you can do this, you can do this, you can, what can you do? You have to first understand the process, take it one step at a time, make sure that you follow the whole thing to the end, make sure that you're, you're doing the right titling, and make sure that you're actually taking advantage of the help you have, okay? Go in and watch the replays that are in there. If you can't attend live, if you can attend live, please do and ask questions there. And if beyond that you need more help, open the support ticket and ask us and we'll help you, okay? So I think on this entire call, we have a thousand people on here, okay? We actually literally do have a thousand people on here. And out of a thousand people, I've had two people say, um, hey, I'm struggling with this, or I've been trying this for two weeks or three weeks, and, it, and I, ha I haven't made sales yet, okay? So th that's my advice to you guys. That's what you guys need to do. And I know that there's probably more who just haven't said anything yet. 
but I know also that out of the thousand people on this call right now, probably 700 of you have already made money on here. Okay, so I we know that for from our numbers, we know that from what we are seeing. So just follow the process like I laid out, and there's the entire webinar schedule for everybody. Let's ask him. Anybody make money um, so far? Anybody make a dollar? Hey, go ahead and type in the uh, chat if you guys have uh, made money uh, with DS domination so far. You're starting to make money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I put all these up here. You're going to want to write this down. And I've been on a million webinars. They say you're going to want to write this down. I never write anything down. But um, you know, the back office is very, very detailed, self-explanatory. When you get in there, it's it's like anything. It's a back office. There's a lot of stuff back there. And I don't want you guys to miss any of this whatsoever. So go ahead and and, and get that written down. And uh, this is a great time for you guys to sing out your uh, how you're doing with, uh, you know, tell me about your sales. Tell me who's making money. Tell me what you're doing with it. Tell me how you're celebrating. If you type yes, I asked the question wrong. Go ahead and just give me a little blurb on how much you made and today, tomorrow, yesterday, last week. That would be awesome. I'd love to see how much you guys are doing and how well you guys are doing and how I can help you guys. And it's going to be a fun Christmas, isn't it? Also, tell me this. You know, I uh, I grew up in Canada, and, and my mother would always get this exorbitantly large thing of chocolates, and I would eat them all. And and now I keep buying like a big box of chocolates for Christmas here. My wife looks at me like I'm weird. Is that not a tradition? Tess, do you have that tradition at your house? No, we don't. <clears throat> we actually don't do anything. We just oh, all okay. sit down very soberly and stare at each other. Well, I'll be on your front lawn with no shirt on with a Santa Claus hat on in the dead of winter staring at your house. So that'll be fun for you. I know it would be. We actually are hoping that you would do that. I actually just got new binoculars. We are, we're actually going to invite a bunch of neighbors. We're going to be, hey, everybody, come. Let's let's stay at the sky, and that'll be our Christmas entertainment. You got uh, rotten tomatoes for the kids all geared up, right? The dunk tank. No, we don't waste food. <laughs> no rotten tomatoes. Well, I'm not saying you're not going to come up and pick them up and eat them. Um, how about a screenshot of that, Josh? Would you mind grabbing that for us? Uh, I do not mind grabbing that for you. I was actually thinking that Kevin might be on it already, but... Um, as usual, we have. I'm actually going to expand my questions box so we can fit as many of these as possible yeah. because these will not fit in a single page. So, okay, guys, so we're going to show you um, your, your colleagues' successes if you're just getting started or whatever we, you describe them as your friends, your family, everything else. And um, beyond that, I think we've made all the announcements um, with the leaderboard coming out and uh, these. Um, you know, the, the pricing tool coming out and all of our, our goals and, and probably the biggest thing that's in effect right now is in the elite training, you're going to be able to go back there and start getting ridiculous um, cashback rewards now. Um, and you'll see the videos back there shortly. Um, so definitely check for those tonight. We'll probably send an email off on that. And, um, and then we're going to get you the screenshot. Okay. Well, here is a screenshot. Let me actually switch presenter to myself. <clears throat> Can you guys see this? Oh my goodness. You made okay, so they, $70 today. Um, this is actually right from the middle. We had a ton more right in the beginning. As you can see, they are not even a minute apart. Um, and here is... a second screenshot that will... These guys are probably going to want this for their Facebook. How can they get these? I can... I can take these, you know what I'll do? I'll actually take these screenshots and I will post them on Facebook for you guys. So you guys can use them, tag yourself or whatever you'd like to do. I'm getting a text now. 592 bucks today from someone from area code 951. That's uh, California. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting Okay, guys, I'm actually just, I'm not kidding. Seriously, there are so many of them that I cannot fit them. Um, well, this is like I, um, six. I, I muted out of the webinar, guys, and I made a video with timestamps and everything, showing as I scrolled down and showed how many people made money here. So I'll toss that video up on Facebook for you. Well, there you go. Kevin wins. When I'll, when put when the, I'll put the images as well, but you guys will have videos, you'll have images, you'll have everything. So here's another one. This is from, so this is from 7 minutes and 53, oh, sorry, 7.53 PM. And um, this goes on for a while, and then it switches over to 7.54, which goes on for a while. Here's more 7.54. Then we go to 7.55, 
goes on for a while. So um, hopefully, like I said, <laughs> out of the thousand people on the webinar, I know at least 700 are in profit already. Yeah. So the, the number of people who are actually having an issue are very few and far in between, but our aim is to make you guys as much money as possible. You know, every other company, they take their 2% of the people who make money and they blow yeah. it out of proportion and they start showing it to everybody. Look at what you could do. Um, that's messed up. So what we do instead is we say, hey guys, look, 700 out of the thousand are definitely making profits. There might be a hundred who haven't started yet. There might be another hundred who have just started, but there's a hundred who have tried and they're not having a massive success. Let's help those guys out too. So here's, here's, actually one, here's one from Jim, only about 30 K so far. No big deal. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> Look at Latoya now at the bottom, $240 profit on one product. Yep. Okay, now let, let, what, what's the, what's the, what, what do people make on average, $8 an hour, that's minimum wage, I don't know, 30 hours worth of work for the guy, girl, going to work tomorrow versus what Latoya just did, 7.55 p.m. You rock, Latoya. <laughs> Oh, and I'll tell you, we're on Skype and we're banging away and, and we're all like going crazy getting things done and making sure everything runs smooth. And I'll grab one of these out of the help desk and I'll throw it over to Tesh and he's like elated. It's just like a, it, it's kid in a candy store or a back in a donut shop. It's like, uh, wow. And, and that's, this makes his day. He loves this stuff. So, yeah. What do you yes. think, buddy? I'm actually just reading these comments. There's actually a lot of comments that I'm going through. Uh, people want images of monkeys. Um, <laughs> we do not want marketing campaigns that say, so simple a monkey can do it. <laughs> yeah. Monkeys cannot do this. This yeah. is designed for the hu for humans by humans. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, you know, seriously, half of the comments in here, half of the comments are people reporting that they are making money, okay? That's half. Yeah. And let me check how many comments we actually have so far. Pretty sure there's a way to see that. View. Sunday, I made 41.63 on a 38.99 product that with my fourth sale, 100, marked it up 100 and something percent. Hello from Nova Scotia. Joy, I see you. Nova Scotia. Okay, if I'm making you guys money in Nova Scotia, you know it's John's lunch when I get there. the best food on the planet. Butter chicken. No, it's fried clams at John's lunch. Uh, you know, clams remind me. So they just found the oldest organism on earth, which was a clam. And while trying to figure out its age, they killed it. <laughs> Can you oh, believe really? that? Yeah. They just found the oldest clam, which was supposedly about 500 some years old. And they killed it while trying to determine its age. I read that story and the clam's name was Amway. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were putting Mary Kay makeup on it to make it clear. You guys hear this? We're having a huge earthquake here in Japan right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Kev, you okay? Yeah, we're good. The ferret's okay? They're, they'll be fine. It's not that big. <laughs> wow. And it's almost over. Jeepers creepers. Talk about that. We were just talking about DST rocks. Everybody's like, DST rocks, and now we have an earthquake in agreement with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah, that. We all survived. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye, but say what you want. Yep. It doesn't get much more real than earthquakes and live screenshots from everybody on the dang webinar. And uh, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and sign off? People are sick of listening to my sad songs. Um, thank you from thank you from me, everybody, for everything you're doing. And I'll do my best to go night and day, get you some pictures from the daddy daughter dance tomorrow. That should be ridiculous. There'll be no video. And I'm gonna throw it to you guys to uh, sign off. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pass the honors on to you, Kevin. Everybody kind of knows what I'm usually going to say, which will be we're gonna close this off quickly. Um, we are right at the one hour mark. We're going to close this off because uh, this is actually something that you guys can do that's going to be much more beneficial for you and your family than listening to us talk. And that's going and making your listings or going through the training and making sure that you're actually taking action on that. Okay. So we're going to jump off. 
um, so that you guys can actually do that, which will help your family more than listening to us. So Kevin, if you would just say good night to everyone kindly. I will definitely will. And don't be surprised if Hitesh cuts me off in the middle because he thinks that's funny. So anyway, <laughs> uh, guys, thanks for being here. We love you. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. Uh Learn how you can create an online income by leveraging two of the largest online stores, Amazon and eBay. Click on the link below and get started today.